What do you do when the defense stops you and you have no idea what to call next? Well, that's what we're going to go over today. Hey coach, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. What is this channel all about? Football. If you like that, hit that bell notification, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's get into today's video. When you call plays, it's an art. It's an art and a science. You have to know what you're going to call, you have to know when you're going to call it, and you have to have an estimated guess on what the defense is going to run when you call that. But there's something easier to do, and I, I, I'm going to show you real quick. Hold on. A few moments later. This book right here has the answers. Why does it have the answers? Because you need to have an if-then structure, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to devise your if-then structure. Let's go. Ah, that's one. First, to do this, you need to know what is your best play. What is your base play? What is the play that you were going to run? And you're going to be like, you know what? If that other team does not stop me, this is what we're going to run every day. You need to do that. For the air raid, it's like stick or mesh. For the wing tee, it's buck sweep. For the flex bone, it's inside veer. What is your play and own it? Then you need to do this next. Two. You're going to need to figure out what to do when the defense stops that. All right, so for instance, us, let's say it's inside zone. Well, I know the number one thing that's going to stop that is they're going to scrape exchange. What do you do when the defense scrapes exchange? For us, it is locking the backside and then running an RPO behind it so that it takes the defender out of it. He's out of it. There's grass. We're going to attack it. I'll draw it up real quick. One hour later. So we got our normal inside zone right here. If you want to know how we block that and everything like that, the card's going to pop up to the top right. Click it. It goes into a uh, how we block inside zone against everything. But we have our normal inside zone. What do we do when this happens? The end crashes down to give a pull, and the quarterback starts to run, and this guy loops over. What do you do when that happens? Well, for us, it is locking the backside, and this is what I mean. We're now going to base the end, and then we're going to turn the read here. And what we're going to do is we have a snag route right there. So if he goes in, this man goes with him, he is taking himself thinking it is a scrape exchange, and then there is that grass. That is the if-then for us. So you have to figure out what is your then. Three. Three fabulous flyers. Uh, uh, uh. After you do that, then you need to have a, a pass off of it. So for the wing tee, this book right here, you have buck, you have belly, then you have waggle. For the air raid, you have four verts, you have mesh, then you have uh, shallow cross. Those are the if-thens within it. So for us, going back to the inside zone, here we go. We would use the Y cross, meaning he's got out. So, so we would do play action, vert. He is looking like he's going to run his snag. Then he's running 18 to 22 yards down the field. You can run a lot of different things for us right here. We would have a bubble, and then we have a curl flat. So then we play fake, and it goes one, two, three to four. That is it. So looking back at everything, this is how we would have our if-then structure. Our main play, inside zone. If they scrape exchange, then we are going to lock the backside. If they start to blitz and really go, you know what, we're going to take away the inside zone and we're going to take away the RPO, then we run the ball. I mean, then we uh, call Y cross. That is the if-then play structure. So you have to do the same thing. You have to come up with your base play. You have to come up with your then to that base play. Then you have to come up with the play action to your base play and the uh, re then that you did, okay? If you want to learn more, especially how to call plays as a offensive coordinator and everything like that, click the button, I mean, click the video down below. And until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun.